Greetings! Mandarin79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alrighty, let's get started, pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu, opt to edit deck menu. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm gonna be making one for is a Care Sanctuaries, Phantom Blaster Dragon, D Booster 9. And alright, let's begin selecting the deck, entering edit deck, and off we go! Here we are in the edit deck menu. Like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building this deck profile video is a Care Sanctuaries, Phantom Blaster Dragon deck, made of cards only available up until D Booster 9. Okie dokie, let's begin. Selecting the filter settings, go into pack, show only cards from D Booster 1, Genesis of Five Greats, D Booster 2, Brush of Legends, D Booster 3, Advance of Intertwined Stars, D Booster 4, Awakened Shark of Barthi, D Booster 5, Trump Return Brave Heroes, Festival Booster 2021, Festival Booster 2022, Promo Pack number 1, D Booster 6, Blazing Dragon Reborn, D Booster 7, Raging Flame Against Emerald Storm, D Booster 8, Minerva Rising, and D Booster 9, Dragon Tree Invasion. Pack selected, apply filters, filters applied, let's get started. First up, the right deck. And first up, the right deck. For the cards in this right deck we are playing, right deck, grade 3, Phantom Blaster Dragon. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, choose a card blast from this card from Soul and call it to rear guard. Second skill, actions, the Vanguard, once per turn, cost, counter blast 1 and retire 3 rear guards. If the cost is paid, choose up to two of your opponent's rear guards, retire them. And this unit gives plus 10,000 power and plus one critical until end of turn. Alright, the Grade 3 Phantom Blaster Dragon. We have won the right deck. Next up, right deck, Grade 2, Blaster Dark. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle or Rear Circle, cost, counter blast one and retire one of your other rear guards. If the cost is paid, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it. This unit gets a drive plus one until end of turn. Second skill, continuous as a rear guard during your turn. If your rear guard is retired this turn, this unit gives us 5,000 power. And okay, the grade two, Blaster Dark, we have won the ride deck. Next up, ride deck, grade one, Blaster Javelin. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by Blaster Dark, reveal the top card of deck. Call to rear guard circles rest if it is a unit card, discard if it isn't. Second skill, continuous as a rear guard during your turn. If you have a Vanguard of Blaster in this card name, this unit gets plus 2,000 power. And affirmative, the Great One, Blaster Javelin, we have won the right deck. And next, right deck, grade zero, full bow, starting unit, skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. And confirm, the grade zero, full bow, we have won the right deck. With that, we've covered the deck's right deck. Next, let's get on to the grade three lineup. And now for the Grade 3 lineup. For the Grade 3 since deck we are playing, the Grade 3, Phantom Blaster Dragon. Since we're explaining this card's skills and effects during the right deck portion of the video, we just skip ahead. For the Grade 3, Phantom Blaster Dragon, we have 3 in the main deck. Next, the Grade 3, Reverence Rush Dragon. Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed on River Circle from hand, cost Soul Blast 1. If the cost and pay, choose a Grade 2 or Greater card from drop and put it in the top of the deck. And already, the Grade 3, Reverence Rush Dragon, we have 2 in the deck. With that, we covered the deck's Grade 3 lineup. Next, let's get on to the Grade 2 lineup. And now for the Grade 2 lineup. For the Grade 2s in this deck, we are playing the Grade 2 Blaster Dark. Since we'd explain this card's skills and effects during the right deck portion of the video, we'll just skip ahead. For the Grade 2 Blaster Dark, we have three in the main deck. Next up, the Grade 2 Skull Witch Nemon. Skills, first skill, continuous as a rear guard. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard or Blaster in this card name, this unit gives us 5,000 power. Second skill, auto as a rear guard. When this unit is placed on rear circle, if your Vanguard's clan is only Shadow Paladin, cost, counter blast one and put a card from hand to soul. If the cost and pay, draw two cards. Already the Great Two, Skull Witch Nemon, we have three in the deck. Next up, the Great Two. Magic of Alteration, Turn R. Skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of battle, this unit attacks while boosted. If your damage zone is three or more face down cards, put this unit into soul, and if the cost and pay, counter charge one. And okie dokie, the Great 2, Magic of Alteration, turn R, we have 3 in the deck. Next up, the Great 3, Ma Knight of Inheritance, Emmeline. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle from hand, cost, Soul Blast 1. If the cost and paid, look at the top 5 cards of your deck, choose up to 1 unit card, blast from this card from among them, call it to rear guard circle, or reveal it, put in hand and shuffle deck. 
If you put a card from hand, choose a card from hand discarded. Second skill, auto is a rear guard. When you need a blaster, this card name attacks. This unique is plus 5,000 power until end of turn. Affirmative, the Great 2, Knight of Inheritance, Emily, we have 3 in the deck. Next up, the Great 2, Knight of Severity, Cleotnia. Skills, first skill, continuous as a rear guard. When this unit will be retired for the cost of the ability of your Vanguard of Blaster as card name, it will be regarded as retiring 2 units. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is retired by the ability of your Vanguard of Blaster as card name, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, choose a Blaster Dart from your rear guard and it gets Auto as a rear guard once per turn. When this unit attacks, cost, discard a card from hand. If the cost is paid, this unit performs drive checks at the end, until end of battle. At the end of the battle, retire this unit until end of turn. Confirm the Great 2, Knight of Severity, Cleotnia. We have 3 in the deck. With that, we covered the deck's Great 2 lineup. Next, let's get on to the Great 1 lineup. And now, for the Great 1 lineup. For the Great 1's in this deck, we are playing the Great 1, Aegis Bear Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only up to 4 cards of Continuous Sentinel deck. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is put in Guardian Circle, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has 2 more cards, choose a card from hand discarded. And already, the Great 1, Aegis Bear Dragon. We have 3 in the deck. Next up, the Great 1, Blitz Order, Elementary Sanctitude. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to 4 cards of Continuous Sentinel deck. Second skill, Continuous. You may only have one Elementary Sanctitude deck. Third skill, Order. If your opponent's Vanguard is Triple Drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Place if it costs up, discard a card from hand. If your Vanguard is grade 3 or less. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until end of battle. Move this card. Okie dokie, the Great One. Elementary Sanctitude. We have one deck. Next up, the Great One. Witch of Pandering Bruner. Skill continuous as a rear guard. If you have a Vanguard of Blasters card name, when this unit will be retired by your card's cost, it may be regarded as retiring two rear guards. Affirmative, the Great One. Witch of Pandering Bruner. We have three in the deck. Next up, the Great One. Dragon Tree Wretch. Sold a Scahab. Skills first skill, auto. When this unit is placed on rear circle, cost counter blast one. If the cost is paid, choose one of your rear guards without any Dragon Tree markers and play a Dragon Tree marker. Second skill, auto from the back row rear circle, once per turn. When your rear guard is placed in the front row of the same columns as this unit, cost counter blast one. If the cost is paid, draw a card. Confirm, great one, Dragon Tree Wretch, sold a Scahap. We have three in the deck. With that, we covered the deck's great one lineup. Next, let's get on to the great zero lineup. And now, for the trigger lineup. For the triggers in this deck we are playing, Great Zero, Light Dragon Deep, Honors, Amertonia, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect, Until End of Turn, you also perform drive checks for the battles or rearguards attack. And alright, the Great Zero, Light Deep, Dragon Deep, Honors, Amertonia, Over Trigger, we have 1 in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Blade Fitter Dragon, Critical Trigger, we have 4 in the deck. Next, the Great Zero, Daring Knight, Saul, Critical Trigger, we have 4 in the deck. Up next, Grade 0, Protection, Magic, Parabi, Draw Trigger, Skill, Continuous as a Guardian. If your opponent's Vanguard is Grade 3 or greater, this unit is plus 5,000 shield. Affirmative, the Grade 0, Protection, Magic, Parabi, Draw Trigger, we have 3 in the deck. Next, the Grade 0, Affectionate, Harp, Angel, Heal Trigger, Skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if your Vanguard's Grade is less than your opponent's Vanguard Grade, this unit is plus 10,000 shield until end of battle. Affirmative, the Great Zero, Affection Harp Angel, Heal Trigger, we have 2 in the deck. And finally, the Great Zero, Healer of Heavenly Staff Arshas, Heal Trigger, we have 2 in the deck. And okie dokie, with that, we've covered the deck's trigger lineup. And with that, the deck's been built, card up is explained. For the cards in this deck, we are playing 4, Grade 3, Phantom Blaster Dragon. 2, Grade 3, Reverence Rush Dragon. 4, Grade 2, Blaster Dark. 3, Grade 2, Skull Witch Nevin. 3, Grade 2, Magic of Alteration, Turnar. 3, Grade 2, Knight of Inheritance, Emmeline. 3, Grade 2, Knight of Severity, Cleotnia. 3, Grade 1, Aegis Mirror Dragon. 1, Grade 1, Elementary Sanctitude. 3, Grade 1, Witch of Pandering, Bruner. 1, Grade 1, Blaster Javelin. 3, Great 1, Dragon Tree Wretch, Soul to Scahab. 1, Great 0, Full Bow, Starting Unit. And for the triggers in this deck we are playing, 1, Amatonia, Over Trigger. 8, Critical Triggers. 3, Draw Triggers. 
and four heal triggers. And that's the next one built. Card of explained. Next, let's get on to testing out the deck. And here we are in the main menu, going to test out the deck. So going to fight menu, Don't selecting the CPU this. fight. Selecting the deck I just showcased to you, the Keter Sanctuaries, Phantom Blaster Dragon, D Booster 9 deck. All looking good, selecting deck. And choosing my opponent test deck out, deck out on, I'm choosing Keter Sanctuaries, IG Sendos, Heart Difficulties, and click. And the battle begins. Let's get started. And here we are in the fight. Give the goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors, scissors, one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock to rock, one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors to paper, I win. Going first. Draw our starring hands. I got myself. Not a bad hand. Keeping this hand. Going first. Draw. I write from the right deck. Blaster Javelin. Right deck cost I am discarding. Hmm. Discarding Soul to Scahap. Discard. Nice. Right. Blaster Javelin. End of my turn. My opponent's turn. Here comes, he rides. Marin, skill of Wingull, draw a card. He calls K to the back row. Banger to banger, 8K, no guard. Drive check. No trigger, new gate. One damage. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, ah, for Solar Ride. 8K to Vanguard, no guard, didn't take it. No god. Ow! Damage. Damage check. Ah, critical. Wasted a critical. Ah, so unlucky. And all effects to Vanguard. Wasted. Ah, this is not good. And phase, my turn. Draw. Critical, come on. From the right deck, I ride. I discard a critical for the right deck cost. Riding. Blaster Dark. Skill Javelin. Top card is Phantom Blaster Dragon, seriously? Ah, uh, call it the rear guard. Skill of Vanguard, Counter Blast 1. And. Here we go. Retires rear guard, Twin Drive to my Vanguard. I call Emmeline to rear guard, call. Emmeline skill, Soul Blast 1. Soul Blast. And. Look at the top cards. Ah, uh, no blasters wasted, come on! Then, go into battle phase. Vanguard to Vanguard. Ugh, wasted skill. Twin Drive. Emily's skill plus 5,000 power. First check. No trigger. Second check. Come on. Ah, no trigger. Seriously, two brewers in a row. Check. No trigger. Emily to Vanguard. 15k. The attack goes through. Pierce. Damage check. No trigger. Blaster blade. Lowest card to worry about. End of my turn. My opponent's turn. Here comes. Blaster blade. Skill blaster blade. Retiring my rear guard and his merit skill. Switching deck. Nothing he calls Wingull. He calls, you gain, you gain skill. Superior call. K and yes, his over trigger. Out of the deck. 10k to Vanguard. No guard. Hold on. Wait. There's a trigger chance and an 8k there, so guard with. One Bruner. 15k. Got. chink Survived. Here comes. 16k from Blaster Blade. No guard. No guard. Drive check. Ah, draw trigger, come on! Ah, so lucky! Here comes. Bell! Damage. Damage check. Over trigger! It's better than nothing. Damage, nullify, power to Vanguard. I drew Cleotnia. And if their turn, my turn. Stand and draw. From the right deck, I right. Phantom Blaster Dragon. Discarding Bruner. Right! Skill, Superior Call. Blaster Javelin to rear guard. Call. Then I'm gonna call. 
Emmeline to rear guard. Call. Not activating Emmeline's skill. I call Bruner to the back row. Call. Vanguard skill. Counter blast. Retiring Javelin and Bruner counts two cards. Retire two of my opponent's rear guards. I retire one column. K and Bedivere. Power and critical to Vanguard. And I'm gonna call. Hmm. Nope, not gonna call, just go straight to battle phase. Vanguard to Vanguard. 23k. Two criticals. Emily's skill. Plus 5,000 power. Twin drive, first check. Yes, heal trigger, just what I needed. Healing one point of damage. Healing, power to Emily. Second check. No trigger, turn R. Two damage to opponent. Pierce. First check. No trigger. Ah, no. Critical trigger. Ah, another lucky trigger. And here comes. Second check. No trigger. Perfect guard. Safe. Emily to Vanguard. 25k. Pierce. One more damage. Check. No trigger. K. So. End of my turn. My fourth turn. Here comes Majesty Lord Blaster. He calls Blaster Dark skill, retiring his own rear guard and retiring one of mine. And he's calling a rear guard. Blaster Dark 4, 23k. Guard with Affectionate Heart Angel and. Hmm. No guard, gonna take it. No guard. Ow! Damage check. No trigger. Hey, your skill, he draws a card. Vanguard to Vanguard. Skill activated. Blasted up to soul and plus one drive. Critical and power added. No guard, gonna take it. First check. No trigger, perfect guard, not good. Second check. Blaster the blade. Third check. Heal trigger, oh come on, really? Of all the triggers to get this timing, and he has a perfect guard as well. Two damage to me. Oh, first check. No trigger, second check, come on. Ah. Two of them out of the deck like that. So lucky of him. Guard, 23k. A chink, safe. <sighs> and if I post turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Skipping right face to main face. I call Nevin to rear guard. Call. Nevin's skill, counter blast one. Counter blast and moving turn on to soul. Draw two cards. Draw. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Two triggers. Ah, so unlucky. Come on. Ah, I call. Claw the rear guard. Then I'm going to move Nemon to the back row and call Emmeline to rear guard. Call. Emmeline's skill. Soul Blast. Soul Blast and look at the top cards of my deck. Come on. Give me something good. Yes. I call Blaster Dark to rear guard. Call. Blaster Dark skill. Counter Blast 1. Counter Blast. I retire. Nemin. Retire. Retire 1 of my opponent's rear guards. Retiring Wingull Brave and Back Row. Plus Power. Plus Skip Twin Drive. Switching to places of Cleotnia and Blaster Dark. I call Karabi to rear guard. Call. Skill of. Phantom Blaster Dragon. Counter Blast. Retire. Parabi. And Cleonia. Trees. Two cards. Retiring his remaining rear guard. Critical and power to Vanguard. Power to my rear guards as well. Cleonia skill. Giving my a skill to the rear guard Blaster Dark. 
seven cards in hand. Better preserve my hand. Go into battle phase. Phantom Blaster to Vanguard, 23k. Skill of Emily, plus 5,000 power. Double guards, 35k. True to pass, first check. No trigger. Come on, second check. Ah, no trigger. Attack fails. Blaster dart to Vanguard. Skill Kuliatne from earlier. Discarding one card. Discarding. Sold the scab. And gets twin drive. Emily skill. Plus 5,000 power. Guards with critical trigger. Two to pass. First check. Yes, critical trigger. I give all effects to Emily. And a second check. Perfect guard made the right choice. Emily to Vanguard. This cost of this, the twin drive skill, retiring blaster dart. 30 to Vanguard. Perfect guard. Oh, come on. Skill. He's guarding it for Solar Ride. The attack fails. End of my turn, opponent's turn. He's going straight to battle phase. 15k. I can't risk it. Perfect guard. With my elementary sanctitude, discarding Blade Feather Dragon. Perfect guard effect activated. First check. No trigger, blaster dark, and second check. No trigger. Attack fails. A chink. And if their turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Uh, nothing to attack with. I call turn ours a rear guard. Call. And Saul's a rear guard. Call. Going to battle phase. Phantom Blaster to Vanguard. 13k. One to pass. Emeline skill plus 5,000 power. He double guards. 25k. Two to pass. First check. Critical trigger. I give all effects to Emily. Second check. No trigger. Made the right choice again. Here we go. Emily into Vanguard. 25k. He guards with a heal trigger. 30k. Boosted by Saul. Turn on the Vanguard. 15k. He tackles through. Boom! One damage. Blaster Dark. One less card to worry about. Turn our skill. Into Soul. And Counter Charge 1. Counter Charge. And of my turn, my opponent's turn. He's calling Blast. You gain skill, you gain superior calls. A critical trigger and Bedivere. Battle phase. 23k to Vanguard. Two criticals. Vanguard skill. Nothing. Perfect guard. Perfect guard cost. I am discarding. Saul to root. To perfect guard. First check. No trigger. Persona right. That's not good. Second check. No trigger. Painkiller. Attack blocked. Kachink. Survived. End of opponent's turn, my turn. Draw! Yes, Blaster Dark! Skipping the main phase, going... Skipping the right phase, going to the main phase. Calling Blaster Dark. Not activating skill. I call... Cleotnia to rear guard. Call. Skill of the Vanguard. Counter Blast. Retiring Cleotnia as, as two cards, and the back row Saul. Retire my opponents Bedivere and you gain power to regard power to Vanguard critical up Skill of Kuyatnia Giving power to regard blaster dark going to battle phase Vanguard to Vanguard 23k 
Emily's skill plus 5,000 power. He's guarding with a perfect guard. Perfect guard cost is discarding. Painkiller. Swim drive. First check. No trigger. Nemin. Second check. No trigger. Soul to Scahab. This is getting really rough. Blaster Dark to Vanguard. 15k. Skill of the Cleotnia skill granted. Discarding. Discarding Nemin. Blaster Dark can drive check. Emily's skill plus 5,000 power. The attack goes through. Drive check. Critical trigger, yes! Critical to, to the attacking Blaster Dark. Power to Emmeline. Crit up. Power up. And. Slash! Check. Draw triggers. Fail to, to, to heal. And six damage. I win. Oh man, that was a really stressful fight. Despite some really bad luck on my side and some good luck on my opponent's side, I still managed to use the new cards this deck to work out pretty well for me. So I got win, perfect guard, drew an over trigger, 10 turns pass to the superior call, retired fire weapons and units, and drew three more times in one turn. Got 2100 VP, total 37,175 VP. Pressing A to go next, leaving the fight and returning to the to the to the fight menu, leaving fight menu. Going back to main menu and going to edit deck menu. With that, deck's been built, card of explained, and I just finished testing deck on front of you. So, first, I want to say is thank you to the viewers for watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos that I plan to upload in the near future. I also be able to show support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye and see you all soon.